Kala, Yahawa, Basham, Yahusha, Basham, Raka Kadash, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahusha, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahusha, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahusha, Kala, Yahawa, Basham, Yahusha, Basham, Raka Kadash. The more honest of the Apostle and Elders, a great millstone, will well and help me through. And peace and salutations to the house of David, the lit man pushing his truth and faith and sincerity. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, will call Kadesh, Rakatnam. So I'm sincere listeners, I'm going to tune in to this. Alright, this is the brother Yutaza Kot. Coming back, um, answer with another quick lesson. Um, on my lunch break, no, and, uh, I'm not going to make this too long through Spirit and Prophet Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. I just want to touch on tribulation, you know. So I'm going to uh, start here in Acts uh, 14 and 22. This is Acts chapter 14, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, you know. So we're going to get this word tribulation. All right. And this is how you confirm that you're a disciple, by going through these tribulations, you know, and continuing in the faith. No. Strong's G twenty three forty seven. Thelipsis. Thelipsis. Mm, it says pressing, a pressing, pressing together, pressure, oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, straits, you know, trouble trouble, anguish, persecution, to be afflicted, pressure. Anguish, burden, persecution, tribulation, and trouble. So this is this is what we have to go through. We have to go through different trouble, anguish, affliction, you know, tribulation, mm -hmm. distress, straits. All right. Um, we have to go through all these things in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you know. And this is what confirms the the, the, the souls of the disciples, all right, the the, the followers of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, those who. Uh, those who uh, take up their cross, bear their cross, you know, like our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach does, you know, did, and, and that's how, and, and that's how we uh, are going to enter into the kingdom of heaven by going through these different anguishes, these different troubles and distresses. All right, it says, read it one more time. This Acts chapter fourteen verse twenty-two, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, you know. So we have to continue in the faith. We have to continue through these different afflictions, these different adversities, these trouble and this anguish. We have to continue to endure it to be able to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. Okay? So let's go here to Matthew 13, chapter. I'll just start up so we can get a little understanding. All right. This uh Matthew chapter 13, verse 18. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. All right. We're not trying to see. We, we don't want to be that of, of him who received the seed. Uh. Uh, by the wayside, you know, because the kingdom, no, if you're not, the kingdom of heaven is within you. So, we all we have to do is draw it out, you know, by uh, enduring these uh, afflictions, enduring these tribulations, this anguish and this trouble, this distress, these straits, okay? So, I'm going to this uh, wayside. Strong's G, 3598, Hadas. Hadas. It says Hadas. Hmm. Right. Um. What's the luck, yo? So it's not really giving us much here. It's not really giving us really much there. So 
Um, let's read this one more time, and then we're just going to continue to read down. This uh, Matthew chapter 13, verse 19. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receiveth seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed in stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon will with joy receive it. You know, so we have to uh, be on stony ground. We we have to be uh, planted through that chief, uh, chief, uh, the chief cornerstone, which is our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, because our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach um, has uh, endured all tribulations to enter into the kingdom of heaven, and this is what confirms you as a disciple of Yahweh Shah Mashiach is to endure these different tribulations to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, so. We have to uh, be likewise like our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know. And so we can't let this tribulation and affliction, you know, um, draw away from us the kingdom of heaven because uh, we we don't want to endure those things, you know. This is uh, this is what we have to go through uh, until the end, you know, to be able to receive the kingdom of heaven, you know. And and and, and, and if you have this word and plant it within stony places you understand it you know and it's uh it's, you're gonna be rooted within the faith you know it says yet have he not rooted himself there we go yeah he have not rooted yourself because you got to be rooted in this all right unmovable you know uh steadfast you know you can't uh be be shaken away shaken and uh troubled you know to the point where to, to the point of overthrow you know, you can't be sifted out of here, you know. You, you can't be sifted out of here to, uh, because of the, the tribulation that we face, you know. We have to face these tribulations, you know, and understand that these tribulations is, is, is what we have to go through to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And that's why it's got to be rooted within us that we have to go through these tri this tribulation to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Otherwise... When, if if, it's, if you're not rooted in it, when the tribulation arises, you're gonna be taken away. You know, with, with, with the tribulation, because you wasn't firmly rooted within sto stony places. You know, it's Matthew chapter thirteen verse twenty one. Yet have he not rooted in himself, but endure for a while, when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word. By and by, he is offended. We can't be like that, man. All right. We we can't endure for a little moment, you know, and then but when the tribulation come or the or the persecution come, we, we don't we don't uh we don't wanna deal with it no more, you know. That's uh that's 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 what confirms you as a disciple, as a follower of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And you have to be a follower of Yahweh Shah Mashiach to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay? You have to overcome these tribulations through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, okay? So you can't be offended when these different uh, tribulations and persecutions arise, you know, because this is necessary for us to enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right, we can't be offended by these things, you know. I'm gonna get that word offended. <coughs> All right. Like, oh, woe is me in a woe is me spirit, you know. Strong's G 4624 Scandalizo Scandalizo. It says Scandalizo and it says a. a to put a stumbling block or impediment in the way upon another may trip and fall to entice the sin to cause a person to begin to distrust and desert one whom he ought to trust and, uh, and obey and that's and that's and that's what uh, ultimately happens when you cast away this word because of tribulation you 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 begin to uh, lose faith in your how about she now shot all right it says to cause to fall away yeah you start to fall away from your Habashi Mount Shai. Uh, you get taken away within tribulation, you know? It says, to be offended and want to see in another what I disapprove or what hinders me from acknowledging his authority, to cause one to judge unfavorably or unjustly of another since one who stumbles or whose foot gets entangled feel annoyed, to cause one displeasure at a thing, to be displeased, indignant, ind indignant, it says in the Strong's definition to entrap, to trip up, stumble, to or entice to sin. So pretty much stumble, you know, fall away, you know, because of uh, because of tribulation. All right, 
You can't let tribulation cause you to stumble up and, and, and just fall off and trip up and just be out of here, man. You know, this, this is uh, necessary, all right? We can't uh, fall into perdition because of tribulation, all right? This is a ne tribulation is necessary for us, you know? That's, that's, that's how you confirm your soul as a disciple is to go through this tribulation, you know? This trouble and this anguish, all right? So, yeah, that was pretty much it on that. I just wanted to touch on that. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go here to John 16 and 33. It's John chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. That in, in me, this are, it's in red letter, so this is our Lord, you have shot my siat speaking. All right, so this is how we have peace through this tribulation and this anguish that we face with. You know, through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And it says, uh, when tribulation or persecution arise for the, arise for the word's sake, they are offended. And the word is Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, so because we got to bear our crosses and our burdens of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, when uh, tribulation and persecution is going to come from that. All right, but you can't get to a point where you get offended, you know, and fall away from uh, your endurance, you know, within Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Because through him we have peace. All right, knowing, knowing uh, that we suffer in this, these different tribulations for our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right, through through Him we have peace because we know that He suffered tribulation and ultimately was rewarded in the end. You know, and and, and that's how we can suffer tribulation as well because we know we we're going to be rewarded in the end. Lord willing, we are those men. You know. It's John chapter 16, verse 33. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Right, so in, in this world, we're going to have tribulation. Our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, said we're going to have tribulation. we got to go through tribulation. All right, this is necessary as man and the Lord. All right, but it says, but be of good cheer, because I have overcome the world. Like, like I was going into our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, he endured the tribulations and the persecutions and overcame them and, and, and was rewarded, you know. And ultimately, if we endure tribulation and persecution, we're going to overcome the world and be rewarded, you know. Be joint heirs, all right. So that's why we have to be of good cheer in these tribulations because through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, we have the victory, all right. We have the tools and the weapons to be able to uh, combat against this world and the tribulations that we are faced with and win. You know? So let's go here to Revelations the seventh chapter. And I'm gonna end it here. I think it's uh Revelation seven and let's start at uh I'll start at nine. This is Revelation chapter seven verse nine. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, Yahweh, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worship Yahweh, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our power, Yahweh, forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation. And have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. You see? You see? So we so that's that's us enduring the great tribulation of this world, you know, through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Alright, to, to enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. Alright. That's 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 uh that's what we have to go through, you know. So we have the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, I'm gonna continue to read all down to 17. It says, Therefore are they before the throne of Yahweh and serve him day and night in his temple, and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. 
neither shall the sun light on them nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them into living fountains of water, waters, and Yahweh shall wipe away all the te all tears from their eyes. And that's beautiful, man. All right. So you know, right now we go through this tribulation, this trouble, this anguish, this affliction. You know. And uh, like it says, uh, so ch chastening for the moment may have not seemed to be joyous. You know, just roughly paraphrasing. You know, but at the end, it uh, yieldeth the uh, peaceable fruit of righteousness, man. You know, ultimately the kingdom of heaven, man. You know. And so you know, and and, and our, our those tears being wiped away from our eyes, is in semblance from us, the the heavenly Father taking the pain away from us, uh, that we had to face through these uh, various tribulations, tribulations that we went through uh, here on this earth to enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right, so we're going to be renewed through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Kodesh. And we have the victory. All right, so we just have to continue to endure this tribulation until the end. All right, so I pray through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is edifying, you know. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rukal Kodesh. Double earnest to the apostle of elders, a great millstone. We will well and talk in this truth and peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing this truth. And faith and sincerity. Shout out to the elect.